Hey guys, so today we're gonna be doing an example of how to do a Lego style ball joint. Just requested by a user on Facebook. So as you can see, I drew the two circles that I'm gonna revolve around the line at the center. But first, I'm also gonna make a few other sketches that will help us along the way. And primarily that is to cut the pieces that we need to make it work. So these sketches don't have to be anything specific. Uh, they're just shapes that you can edit later. They're not really that important, but just make sure that the ball joint can stay, uh, that the ball can stay inside of the ball joint. So that's why we have it like a little bit further from the center. And then that we're gonna move to the side right now so that we can put it out later and the, the other sketches won't get in the way too much. Now we select the circle that we need and then revolve it around the line at the center. We're gonna hide it so that it doesn't get in the way. And then we make the other circle. And then we just slice it off so that we can access the other one and we subtract the inner circle from the outer circle that we get that uh, optimum ball on side. Then we're just gonna make some side panels so we can slice these out from the joint. It's not too difficult, we just make a long line basically and then we revolve that piece around the center line. To 90 degrees. And then just uh, basically just subtract it from the ball joint pack this Lego style piece and then the last thing to do is obviously just revolve the inner circle again so we have that ball inside that's pretty much done now we're just going to do a final finishing touches you don't have to do this but just if you smooth out the edges it'll go inside easier then I also like to round off some edges just to make it look better and also if you're going to 3D print this, it would function obviously slightly better if there is uh, smoother edges, that way it doesn't tear into the lines of the print. And that's pretty much it. We have a ball joint and then you can add whatever else arms and legs you need to this and go from there. Here I am just going to show you the finished piece without the edges and transparent background. But that's cool, huh? Shaper 3D. I love this app. You guys can do it too. Bye-bye.